In an interview with CNN's Manu Raju, Corker said the president consistently doesn't tell the truth, dodged on whether Trump should have the nuclear codes, said Trump, WASNT a role model for children, said he would not ever support him again and repeatedly suggested that Trump debases the country. It was something else. Below, I've picked the nine roughest Corker lines and ranked them from least to most devastating. Think about this. Corker is saying that if only Trump would get out of the way, Republicans could actually get some things done. He views Trump as the main impediment to getting things done in Washington. And this is the least damning thing Corker said about Trump in his interview with Manu. This echoes Corker's comments about the White House functioning as an adult daycare center in which the job of lots of smart and serious people is to keep the president from doing anything truly destructive to the country. Rather than doing the work of the country, Corker suggests, the main focus of the White House is managing the president's moods and tempers. Corker, again, is noting that he believes Trump is lying about the nature of their conversation last month at the White House. Trump continues to insist Corker begged for his endorsement and said he couldn't win and would have to retire without it. Corker has consistently argued that Trump not only asked him to run again but offered to endorse him and campaign with him. Someone is lying. And based on track record, I think we have a pretty good idea who it is. This quote comes in the context of Corker telling Manu about dinners and meetings that he and other Republican senators have had with Trump in which they urged him to moderate some of his natural bomb-throwing tendencies. He didnt. And, according to Corker, he want. This is as good as it gets, Corker is saying. Which is pretty damning. Corker wouldn't call Trump a liar in the interview with Manu. But he did everything but. The quote above suggests that Corker believes Trump's natural state is to not tell the truth. Related Corker is talking about the president, a.k.a. the single most powerful person in the country. That word debase is a powerful one. It means, quite literally, to reduce in quality or value adulterate. So what Corker is saying is that Trump is tarnishing the country by the way he acts and what he says. Wowza. What exactly does this mean Corker, as chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, is going to hold hearings seeking accountability for the decisions Trump has made as president he is going to hold hearings aimed at restoring trust between the U.S. and our traditional allies something else no matter what, it's a big deal. Remember that this is the GOP head of a major Senate committee speaking. Corker ISNT popping off. He actually talks to world leaders and, presumably, knows of what he speaks. Consider then what this means world leaders our allies and our adversaries know that Trump is often lying. The chaos that can and will create in the world is hard to wrap your head around. And terrifying. Trump has been president for nine-ish months. A prominent Republican senator is suggesting that not only is Trump's legacy already set but that it will be a legacy of debasement of our nation. Sit with that for a minute. Sidebar more than 4 in 10 people in a recent Marist College poll said Trump would go down in history as one of our worst presidents.